Welcome, friends, Sir Nigel Coggs, back on the Mindplex Clans server. I want to take a moment to thank everyone that responded to my last video with uh, advice and information on how to get the server working again for me, basically how to connect to the server again. It was all very nice of you to take the time to look up the information and let me know. On the advice of someone in the comments section, I built this little dirt cube to do some work in, to build my next project in, just to help keep all of it nice and safe while I'm working. So to begin with, we're going to do a little bit of this here. Isn't that a beautiful project? Well, that's just the start of it. I thought I heard some little footy steps out there, but I'm not seeing anyone. Sometimes I wonder if this strange anti-cheat system that Clans uses, in addition to the name tag showing up and sometimes it making little dust clouds from where the feet would be if an actual player was there. I wonder if it makes little footy step sounds too. I don't see anyone out here, so I think it must have been that delightful anti-cheat system. I need to pick up a couple of fence gates. We should probably only need two. A lapis block would also be good to take with us. Get some digging going. Oh, magic digging. Now, I know that in order to place a fence gate, I've been told you have to place it on a block and then you can break the block beneath it and it'll stay in place. However, we can't place the block here and even if we could place the fence gate right here, I don't think we'd be able to break the block underneath it from above. So I think maybe what we'll need to do is head over one block like this and then do one of those is what I'm thinking. Then we can open this and take where the cobble go, take the cobble and replace, replace these blocks here. And hopefully that should do the trick that I have in mind. This is a pretty fair bit down, so I think we will place the block of lapis, lapis. Put it right about here. That should be good. Now, if I understand the way this works correctly, and we're about to find out if I understand it correctly, once you're in water like this, where you're moving around, you shouldn't be able to use your home command. So let's find out. Well, apparently you can. So it looks like you can teleport out of there. So what we'll probably have to do, I suppose, is work up something like this to keep the water moving, I suppose, so that you can't use your teleport command because you keep moving. But that's certainly a start. Now I need another block of lapis. Let's see how far down we can place it. Can we place it? How about this? How, well, okay. That's not what I meant. So I think we'll remove this and then we'll dig our way down to the point that I want to get to. Um, 
almost a little bit farther. That should be good. And then put the lapis block right here. And then let's see the cobblestone work our way back up. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. And again, this is one of those things that is really for the people that don't watch the video, because anybody that watches the video will know how this project is put together. So this is more for those that don't watch the video, that just like to wander around and explore and want to know what is in various places. I guess we're going to have to open up this roof here to get some more height on this. I think that's probably high enough to be interesting to people that want to explore. Now let's see if we can just hop down. If not, at least we're right by the base. Yep, hop down acquired. Now I need to pick up a sign. Let's see. Do I have any in here? I think I do. We'll put this back. We only need one sign. So up we go again. That's not what I had in mind. Just in case any of you were wondering. Put the sign there. Treasure room. Now we can clean up all of this dirt around here that I built up to make the little protective room to work in. Well, that should do it. Maybe it will be interesting enough to some people to go up and check out to see what it's all about. Of course, it still needs to be refined some so I can get some of that moving water at the bottom that I talked about before, but I think that's enough for the initial stage of it. So I think that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Liking and subscribing are always wonderful things to do.